Hey, how did y'all connect with Twister? Um, grew up in the same neighborhood. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. Grew up in the same neighborhood as kids. Okay. So we was already yeah. connected, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So who started rapping first? Out of all, out of all y'all, like out of, out of, out of AK, Nord, Belo, Twister, who started rapping first? I, I believe we all, we, we all was rapping. rapping. Uh, Twister was just, yeah. Twister was just got uh, noticeable, noticeable, noticed before us, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, as time went on, you know, he was breaking record deals. We wasn't, we were still in the hood with it, right? Okay, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. so. That's but 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 usually if somebody started off like y'all might start rapping at the same around the same time but usually you know at least I start rapping and then one hour later you say oh I can do that you start rapping you know maybe y'all started on the same day but somebody started it off we 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 like it's crazy because all of us roughly in the same age bracket yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so we all grew up listening to hip hop, you know. So yeah. we all we all admired it. We all wanted to do it and wanted to, you know what I'm saying? So we all was just like rapping. Like we all was everybody was fucking rapping. But um I think for us, we may have took it a little bit more serious down the line. You know, um T was probably taking it more serious at that time. Right. Then we were, but we always rapping. You know what I'm saying? And then it was just like, shit, fuck it, let's just go and do this shit. Cause I think for us, I think it was mostly a hobby. It's like, fuck, we just love and do this. We enjoy this. We weren't looking for no big rocket deal, no none of that shit at the time. You know what I'm saying? We just, we were just want to do the shit. Yeah. And, and to answer yeah. that, it was me. You know, me and Nod up under the same roof. Okay. You know, as brothers. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I was rapping more. Than Nard was, he'll come in right. and out every now and again. Man, Bilo, we met at a young age, so we was, you know, I was rapping, he was rapping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when we met, we was rapping. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, if you're from Chicago, we had house music before rap. Mm -hmm. So by having house music, we met, you know, going to, you know, meeting at clubs, dancing, and all that. You know what I'm saying? Just being kids at the time. So the dancing world turned into rap. Two. Yeah. Mm. Right. Do y'all consider Twister like an honorary member of the group? Cause he's just y'all, y'all tight, man. I, just, I like to see y'all work together. Yeah. Y'all, y'all compliment each other so well. I've even seen y'all do interviews together. I've seen y'all tour together. I've seen y'all you know, do your records and stuff together. Mm -hmm. I just think it's so cool that after all this time that y'all still are able to, you know, connect and work together and build. Right. Right. Yeah. T, you know, T, you might well call him a member because every, you know, if we do a song, you can actually hear him on it. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, if he do a song, like, like probably three, four days ago, he hit us like, man, I got a joint for y'all. Like, that's how we yeah. call each other. Like, man, we hear a joint, we, we hear one another on. Yeah, I got this joint for him from the send it to your email. And, right. and, and then it was just that breaking element. Like, when we did the, 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 the Pope Pimp joint, R.I.P. Our brother Johnny P. Forever. Um, it, it just it all went like peanut butter and jelly. If the element was just that, you know what I'm saying? Do a die Johnny P. Twister like that. Element was just that. It was it was tracks and tracks the legendary tracks. It was peanut butter and jelly. So it that chemistry like just stuck forever. And so when we get together, and and although Johnny P. No longer with us, he is in spirit, but. Uh, you still have that element. You still get a taste of that element from back then when we did um, Pope Pell. Right. Yeah. yeah. Did they ever find out what the cause of death was for Johnny C? I mean, not I'm saying Johnny, but uh, Johnny P? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was, you know, liquor. Yeah, drinking. Drinking. Okay. Yeah, yeah. kidney failure. It was kidney failure. Yeah. It went from there. And what about, where in the hell is the legendary tech star, man? Um, oh, track, track. Be up in uh, California. Yeah, track Cali. in California. We yeah. just saw him uh, when we flew out there. What? A couple of months ago, was yeah. it? A couple of months ago, we flew out there and saw him. Yeah, so he's doing good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, um, 
I said, uh, uh, I'm trying to, I said Texter, I'm trying to say Traxter. Uh, yeah. But yeah, he, he's doing good, right? Yeah. That's, that's good, that's good. What, what's going on with uh, uh, Kucha Conflict? Yeah, have y'all like connected with them lately? Are any of the members? Yeah, actually, we do a show with them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, it you know, we always amongst each other, too. Yeah. Right. Yeah, everybody from Chicago. Like, we always bumping into them. We still bump into our homeboy, Cycle Drama. We still bump to Shauna. Uh, uh, you know, people that's from Chicago that's still in the ground, still doing their thing. So, we all still rotate with each other. I wanted to ask you, B-Lo, about that uh, the time you had to go sit down. Like, mm -hmm. Do you still like Chicago is is a, the wild wild west in some some in in some cases, right? Yeah. How do you how do you navigate through Chicago in the type of uh, environment where people are known to retaliate after mm -hmm. you know doing something or you know, being involved in something like you were involved with? Yeah, and, you know, taking somebody, somebody's friend, somebody's relative out or whatever. How do you, yeah. how do you navigate and keep your mind right at the same time? Because on one end, you know, it's the, the for me, it would be paranoia, you know, because mm -hmm. I'm always watching my back. On one end, you're watching your back. On the other end, you know, that's behind you and you're trying to live, you're going forward, you're trying to build. How do you keep your mind? You know, solid. You know, how do you stay? How do you stay focused? One of the biggest things is I just stay. In, I know I stay in righteousness. I pray about it. I know I was right. I wasn't wrong in the situation. Right. And, uh, and I can live with that. I keep moving from there. In terms of the streets, probably is somebody out there uh, that want to get out on try. That ain't nothing new. I've been right. dealing with that all my life, you know. Like I, I, I come from the streets for real, right. you know. And and people that know me in Chicago know my reputation is that too. So you know, I I mind my business. You know, I'm not on nothing. I stated this music, and I wanna I wanna continue on doing it. But you know, cats run up on me like it's sweet. You know what I'm saying? It ain't it ain't gonna go the way they think it's gonna go. Put it that way. So. You know, I try to stay out out of harm's way, try not to put myself in uh, uh, crazy situations. You know what I mean? I try to just, you know, as I as I've always done. You know, so I try not to, you know. And people that know me know I'm not about lunacy. You know, I don't get out involved off into crazy shit. They know I'm starting shit, shit like that. But if it come to me, they know. Oh, that dude there, he he's something else. So you know, we gotta come for real. We gotta come correct. You know, they know that. Yeah. When you look back at the situation, is there anything that you think that you could have done differently to avoid it? No. Yeah. No. I've I, I, I played that over and over in my head a thousand times because when I was placed in that situation, I was trying to avoid it then. Like I was in the midst of telling people, oh, yo, hold on, because this is a bunch of people that knew each other. In fact, the young cat, I've looked out for right. numerous of times. You know, we used to hang with my son. So I looked out for him and I looked out for a lot of people. And people understood that for the most part. Right. People that knew me understood that this is a good guy. He looked out for everybody, you know. So if this occurred, somebody had to really, you know, do something. And I was put in that situation where it could have been a split second and I'd have been laying on that motherfucking ground in the grave. So I had to react. Yeah. And I asked that question, man, not to be nosy, but to put information out there that could possibly help somebody else that might find themselves in the same situation. Because I know, ooh, boy, my cowboy, Western days, man, somebody push that button and I just do this. They push that button, I do this. Whatever, they, whatever that button say do, that's right. what I do. And right. it took me a minute to, to catch my snap and like start like really, really using my brain and thinking scenarios through even before I even find myself in those scenarios. Now you can't predict every single scenario. Mm -hmm. But if you have an idea of what your possible reaction would be, the type of course of action that you could possibly take in certain situations, then you're gonna be better equipped to make the right decision 
That's right. For yourself, because my thing is always, whatever your objective is in life, make sure your actions are consistent with the outcome you want. Mm, that's right. Mm -hmm. So that, that's the way I try to live my life. I'm thinking about do or die's place in the record books. And I think that definitely, you know, the 90s, mid 90s, late 90s, you, you had to talk about do or die. Definitely. Today, again, I'm going to go back to the scene in Chicago. Chicago right now is on fire. Mm -hmm. Those younger artists that you mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. AK, mm -hmm. are they paying homage? Do y'all see that when y'all walk into the space, when they see y'all? Do they, do they recognize you guys? Like, do they know who you are and what you did for the city? Honestly, I, I know they know who we are because mm -hmm. the noise was too loud to, to, to try to uh, defer, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but as far as um, being, <coughs> getting the, uh, the, the accolades from it, you know what I'm saying? I, I think um, some of the shorties don't understand what it meant to be able to come from ground up and really get it from the mud. Right. You know what I'm saying? If, and if some, Respect it, cool. And if some don't, cool. But when you go to those interviews, guess what they always ask? Them? So what's up with do or die? What da, 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 da. they always get asked that question. So you can't go around it. So you gotta go back and do your research.